Interlock uh, was really popular, especially in, in Rhode Island, where we're dealing with extremes of weather, and you'll find it on a lot of buildings close to the water. And since it was a, a 18, you know, 90s, 1900, or right around that period, we see a lot of late Victorians with it, and we see all the way up until the 1940s and 50s that used this type of system, until we kind of came up with other ways to kind of keep the draft out. I think it's a really cool art doing this because I don't, not many people do that anymore. And having someone like John who's been doing that for his whole life, being in the position to like learn from, from him, it seems like so, so valuable. It's all interlocking pieces of metal instead of plastic or vinyl. It is the way doors were done for many, many years these guys in the field run into it constantly. I did a tremendous amount of interlock work along the coast, houses facing the ocean, because the wind would drive the rain against the doors and it would just go right through the gasket. The door is a metal interlock system that is from the turn of the century, around 1900 to about 1930s, um, even into the 50s, it was really popular as the best means to reduce the amount of draft that comes through a door. But what it really did even beyond the draft is kept water out because of the way that the interlock actually works with each other. So it's great that, that we're able to see the opportunities where the system can be repaired and it can function as it was designed to, to resist air and to keep out water. But in situations where people might be on the water or in extreme environments, it really is a superior method of keeping out water.